even if you were upside down. So hi guys, um, I'm actually here with my 100th video. I know I have not been, um, I've not been making videos for the past month or so, and I have actually been making videos, but I didn't want to load any one of those up just yet because I know this was my 100th video and I really wanted to make it count. Um, first to begin with, I want to start off by telling everyone thank you from the bottom of my heart for supporting me all the way through. I can't believe that I have a hundred videos. I could remember when I actually started off making it. Um, I was very, very unsure of myself. Wasn't sure that anyone would like it. Um, wasn't sure that, you know, I could even put something out here that people would even want to watch. And now I have a hundred videos. So thank you thank every single one of you guys for all of the support, the comments, the likes, the shares, every single thing that you all have ever done to help support me and my channel. I want to just say a big heartfelt thank you to everyone. And about a month ago, um, I just kind of threw a question out on Facebook, um, you know, talking about charity and talking about, um, you know, wanting to get involved. I am usually involved in you know one thing or another. I have been throughout my entire life. It's the way that I was raised, um, and it's just not something that I usually talk about because I mean, it's not something that you talk about. It's not done for for glory and for fame and to say, wow, you know, this one does this and that one does that. I am not that type of person. And, and genuinely, I mean, a lot of you don't really know me um, as a person. Those of you who watch me know me as a makeup artist, but um, in my personal life, I am a Christian. Um, I may not be the, you know, the Bible thumping, beat you on your head with the Bible um, type of Christian, but I am a Christian nonetheless. And, and you know, um, part of our religion focuses, you know, a lot on helping the needy. And that's what actually Jesus came here to do. When he did come here, um, he didn't go after the people who had money and the people who were rich and who had status and stuff like that and it's the same with every religion that I've happened to come across you know um, doing this this job it I have been fortunate to have had a lot of you know interpersonal relationships with people of different um, not only ethnicities but different beliefs and that's one common thing amongst all of the religions um, and that is um, that is love and you know helping and, and being generous and giving and kindness it's almost like this hunger and this this need just to help just to reach out you know more than i usually do and that's where i kind of um threw it out there on facebook and the feedback just from that one little post was so amazing i had so many people who were saying yes just let me know um i would be willing to help and and i would be willing to donate clothing i mean people who don't have money they said that you know even though i don't have a lot i would be willing to help in whatever way that i can and to me i think that is just absolutely amazing because i myself um i'm not rich i did not grow up rich i mean my grandfather he had a lot of money and we lived with him um, my parents and myself uh, we lived with him growing up but then when he came and passed away um, he did leave a substantial amount you know for my dad but being the last child of eight children he was the spoiled one and you know the same way money comes that when money is easy and you get it that easy it tends to leave that easy and we I remember being a little girl and we partied and we fed and we you know we did whatever we had to and we had a lot of friends there were always a lot of people here and I remember you know having the time of our lives and eventually it ran out and um, you know we we went through a phase where it was really really tough my dad was working he was a two and a half pack a day cigarette smoker um, and he was literally wasting away with worry because he didn't he wasn't working uh, we were living off inheritance for the longest while um and it was really tough and i remember being a little girl it was just me and my middle sister we had one more but she came along a little bit later on um and it was both of us and i remember there would be times at christmas where we couldn't even afford a christmas tree and we would have like a little household plant and we would take like a string of lights where half had stopped working and the half that did work we we strung that along the little plant and you know we would take gift paper and kind of put it in the section where um where you had 
um, like they do it being, we would put gift paper there and we were pretty contented with that. Um, it's just, you know, now looking back on it, I realize exactly how bad our situation was. Um, and I would never forget this. There was a particular moment in our lives where I remember going to the back. And when you're small, you're kind of stupid. You don't, <laughs> I mean, you don't know what's going on. Your brain only works so far within within a box you know you you don't have the capacity to think outside of that and why certain things are happening um and i remember this one particular instance very clearly in my head um and i remember going to a backyard my grandfather um he used to work for wasa uh, but he used to love like planting and he would have a little backyard garden and stuff like that but my dad i mean they never really continued it um, and i remember this one particular time where my dad went out to the backyard and he had a shovel and I went with him and um, when we were going there he started like digging into the yard and stuff like that and I remember um, you know him looking and digging and kind of pulling up these these big things which obviously were yams and things like cassava um, basically ground provisions um, that he was looking for and only years later um, I realized after he told us um, that that day we had have uh, we had had absolutely nothing to cook. There was absolutely no money um, to buy something to cook, and as a last ditch effort to provide for his family, my dad decided to go and you know dig up the yard to look for these ground provisions that my grandfather would have passed away and left for like almost a year or more. And thankfully, we did get a few pieces and. Um, and you know that's what we ate that day but being a young child you don't know so i mean that is something that's very very personal it's a personal story to me um i don't normally share things like that especially on camera but i, I think people look at my life and they look at the makeup and they look at the hauls and whatever the case may be and my pictures on facebook and whatever and people assume that you know they know somebody based on what they see but it's not that case i give really now not because I have a lot but because I know what it's like not to have and it sounds so cliche because but I literally know what it's like not to have I, I live here at home with my parents with my husband and my son but we're happy I may not be rich you know with with finances and stuff like that but I have enough that I can still give um, to someone else and that's what I do and that's what I always try to remember I look back on those days um, and I never forget where I come from I remember how difficult it was and I never ever kick somebody who wants something to eat or somebody who asks me um, you know for a few dollars just to get something to drink or whatever the case may be it, it just breaks my heart every single time because I know what it's like to be in that situation we are big Christmas people me and my dad especially we love 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 Christmas we're that house on the block that has so much Christmas lights it's almost obnoxious and um, it's like daylight when you drive by my house. It's, it's ridiculous, um, but we love it. We absolutely love it. We love what the season represents. Um, and it, we actually start um, decorating from the end of October because it takes such a long time. Um, but we just love Christmas so much. And I thought that, you know what? Christmas would be the perfect time to give back to someone else. Because I mean, I have heard so many stories about people, about kids especially, not having things to eat, let alone, you know, something to play with i remember getting you know ten dollar store toys um for christmas almost every year and i remember how grateful i was just to have that so if i can help someone do that um why not use my voice for something that's good something other than vanity and something other than beauty I was actually talking to my friend um alana that's one of the girls who you would have seen me use in one of my videos recently um, she's actually a really good friend of mine and I was talking to her and it so happens that she um, had just looked at this um, this video online talking about you know sharing and I will link the video in the bottom bar that we both looked at and it was even more inspiring and it just kind of solidified the, the things that I've been feeling, the things that have been um, you know sort of placed in my heart and I spoke with her and she came, uh, she came spent the weekend by me um, I think it was Republic weekend and we sat down we talked it out and we kind of hashed everything out and uh, you know thought of how we're exactly going to do this um, because I didn't just want to say oh it's you know it's um, 
it's a charity thing and whatever you want to give you give I actually wanted to specifically make it um, um, a little bit more helpful or a little bit more targeted um, and I actually asked a lot of you guys um, on Facebook uh, if you had anybody that you could have suggested that needed help and thanks to a lot of people um, and a lot of input from a lot of my um, Facebook fans and you know friends of mine on Facebook I did get five families um, that are definitely in need of help um, so we have those people here and I'm not obviously going to disclose their names um, but you know I do have information as to how many people and adults and children in each family um, and what I wanted to do before I made this actual video is kind of put stuff together so I have my little um, my little makeshift book here that I had where I recorded everything um, we made a botalana and myself we made a basic food list because what I'm planning on doing um, is actually trying to get together like a little box of groceries for each family um, the amount is based obviously and the, the quantity of people in each family um, as well as to try and procure like some little toys and possibly some clothing um, for the children of those particular families or the ones that do have children anyway um, you know I tried to call to get this actually registered, the charity registered, and there's a lot of things that we have to do legally in order to be able to register this, and I am actually going to go through with it, because not only is this the first time, I'm, time that I'm doing this, but I'm hoping that if it's successful, um, that, you know, during the August vacation, maybe we can do a school book band drive and maybe, like, um, uh, what do you call it stationary oh, so stuff um, and again you know next year for the holidays as well too um, we wanted to really be able to share a little bit of the joy that I knew at Christmas time um, with the people um, that really needed out there um, so basically we came up with the name and the name of this is actually called the hope project and that is h-o-p-e and it is an acronym and it stands for help open people's eyes I mean right around us there are so many people who are hungry and there's so many people who are starving and it's it's ridiculous how I'm used to seeing this um, I you know recently I went to the movies and I saw this vagrant who um, was just across the road from by us a homeless man I shouldn't say vagrant I saw a homeless man across the road from where the cinema was and he was just kind of rummaging through the garbage right where my car was parked and I remember my husband was there and he was like you know he better not get too close to my car but I, I couldn't get over the fact that all of these people were just there lining up to go into the cinema and here's this man that's going through the garbage looking for something to eat and I look at my husband in that kind of puppy dog face you know you know what I'm talking about and he looks at me and he rolls his eyes and he's like okay Buy, the, buy go buy something and, and I'll take it across to him so <laughs> I get all smiley and happy about it and I um, I go I get him a hot dog I get him a juice and my husband sure enough he takes it across to him and you know as crazy and as a little bit scary as it seems sometimes uh, because you never know uh, mentally how someone is in that situation um, he, he looked at my husband and he told him thank you he said thank you so much God bless you and to me that was amazing. I could have gone through the rest of my movie in peace knowing that at least I made he had something to eat that night. And it sounds stupid because he's just one person, but you know, I believe that little bit at a time if we all sort of open our eyes to open our eyes to what's around us, uh, we can make a difference. And this is where the name Hope came from. It's help open people's eyes. Uh, we have twelve children and we have um, we have ten adults. So this is basically the people that we want to supply, you know, groceries for, um, clothing, um, and stuff like that. Uh, they are obviously different age groups. Uh, the children range from four years old to 12 years old. We have a lot of boys, but I also believe that there are a few girls in between as well too. Um, so again, if you don't have money to give, um, or you don't have you know grocery items to give maybe your kids have clothes that they're all grown or maybe you know someone who can donate like you know used clothing that is obviously in pretty good condition um, I you know we're, we're really willing to accept that especially for the kids of course what I will do is I will place a link in the bottom bar um, to a list 
I'm gonna actually do a list on my uh, my Facebook page, my fan page, and I will sh I will put it in detail there so that anybody wants to specifically give up a certain item, uh, my contact information is going to be there. Um, also, a list, a detailed list of exactly what we need, including the food items. Um, and aside from that, we are also looking for toys uh, for children, again, ranging from the ages of 4 to 12, and there are 12 children in total. If we can, I would like to keep the, uh, the toys sort of um, non-denominational or unisex, so things like little doctor sets or uh, maybe like teddy bears or... You know, little things that are like puzzles or books or stuff like that, that anybody can get used from. Not, you know, specifically tea sets and dollies and stuff like that. And we want to be able to at least give a child something that they can use. And obviously, if it's a little boy and all I have remaining is a dolly, that's not going to go... <laughs> it's not going to work too well. He's going to look at me like I'm nuts. <laughs> um, so, yeah. Um, just to go a little bit further on my part with this video, if you want to make a monetary contribution, um, I am even willing to, you know, sort of give back to people who are giving to me, um, or to these children rather, to my cause. Um, what I decided that I would do, now a lot of people have been contacting me recently about, you know, consultations, and these are makeup consultations obviously. Um, it is where you know a consultation is basically where I meet with a client and it's usually about $200 it's roughly about that depending on where they are what they need the amount of time that I spend with them and what a consultation basically is is where I come to you um, I usually accompany you to a, um, a merchant or a store like Pennywise Superform wherever the case may be um, and what I would do is I would go with that client and I basically you know give them their shades i help match their foundation i help match their concealers the types of concealers types of foundations for their specific skin type i answer any questions that they may have with regards to their specific skin and their specific issues um and i also um and i also you know obviously i'm there to guide them along with purchasing products that are going to make sense for their to, for them to use um, so what I'm suggesting here is that if anybody wants to meet me in particular um, and you know donate something towards this cause, I would definitely be willing, you know, providing that my schedule allows it. I'm always all over the country um, doing makeup and then doing work, um, providing that my schedule allows for it, I would be more than willing to meet with you. Um, and what I would do is I would give you a mini consultation for free. Um, obviously, it's not going to be a full-length co uh, consultation because it would have to be on my working time. Um, and then for me to accompany you to a store and all of that, it may not be feasible. So just as a little bit of an incentive, because I was there just thinking, you know, what can I do to make this even more successful? And this is what I came up with. I'm really good at makeup. This is what I do. Um, and why not use what the talent that God has given me to, you know, do something for someone in need? and that's the plan so if you guys are interested in having a one-on-one -on -one consult mini consultation with myself um, where you know I recommend shades of foundation for you skin care address different issues that you may have with your skin please contact me via the link on my Facebook page and we will go from there thank you so much for everything that you guys have supported me with and I know that with this venture you guys are going to even um, you, you're going to come through for me and I know that and not just for me but for the families that really need this as well too. Um, the start date was is obviously from today, the day that this video is uploaded and the close off, I want to close this off on the 13th of December um, because I want to make the give out day the 15th of December um, just so that you know the family has whatever they need you know at least a week before Christmas so that they can actually enjoy the actual day and it's less hectic um, with, tra uh, with traffic and all of that for me to go deliver the families are all over Trinidad so for me to be able to deliver efficiently and not have it you know kind of mess with my schedule as well too um, I need to have everything uh, donations closed off on the 13th of December and I am going to be packaging by the 13th the 14th and by the 15th I want to start giving these out so thank you once more thanks so much everybody for listening um i do have some halloween tutorials coming up some really big ones that i'm working on um where they include both the hair and the makeup and hopefully i can get those up for you guys really soon 
Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for your support. And I hope that you guys like and definitely if you've never shared any of my vids before, please hit the share button. Um, just because this is a good cause. It's not makeup, it's not beauty, it's not vanity related. It is all about helping people and about giving back. So please, 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 um, on behalf of these families, hit the share button. Thank you so much. In my house on the hill, there is room for you still.